like this in our day or New Zealand today. And those buildings named after those great progenitors and leaders of that particular tribal period. Uh, many of our psalms and chants honor those that have gone before us. And this building, of course, named after Hawaii God, personifies their ancestor and the physical anatomy of the building. So above you on the ridge pole is the spine, the backbone of our ancestor, off of the spine of the ribs. You have a family tree, we have a rib cage. It serves the same purpose. And all the skull patterns that you see above you on the, on the rafters represent the genealogical descent lines right down to the present day. So the songs that we're going to write, this one we're going to share with you, uh, honors our grandmothers. And if there's any grandmothers in the house, uh, we dedicate the song to you. Uh, we will introduce you to the skills and the art of the poi. And out there are poi is a ball, a light ball, attached to a cord. And there are five different categories of poi. And so watch out for each of them, as I want you to share with you their skills. But a simple, an elegant ball on it, but it's great to done this. It's for now.
and gentlemen, you teach yourselves, I can do that. The answer is, of course, you can. We're going to teach you how to drill the point way flow, which is the long point outside and the point out after the program. And join us at some fun. If you're really good, we'll audition you. Okay? Imagine that. Now, the writers, as I indicated before, uh, represent the genealogical descent line, the ribs at the ends and stuff. They come down to the cow pit. So in front of you and in the back of you, all the cow pits have eyes that are with power of our bony shell. These cow figures are stylized. Current representation of some of the more notable descendants of the common ancestor in the building stands after. These are our great leaders and heroes of the past. Uh, still we have spoken of some about as well. So we'd like to introduce one of them to you and we'll invite one of the descendants of that particular ancestor to make those introductions. <laughs> Everybody can get a loud Kia ora! Kia ora! Kia ora! Kia ora! We'll over here to this card figure. That card figure is a representation of my ancestor. His name was Koronami. Everybody say Koronami. I descended to Koronami on my father's side of the family back 23 generations. Koronami was a well respected leader in my travel region as well to all. Uh, that travel region is known as Nazi It's located on the east coast of our country. I'm very grateful for that connection and to be able to share my culture with you. Kia ora, have a good day. Kia ora. Okay. Okay. What's important uh, here is that we, we all have our stories. We all have our stories. So do our ancestors. And those stories told and retold in these unique ways enable us to understand very clearly who we are, where we come from, and what we can become in the future. Now, uh, ne next door inside that building, Kupe, we have a game that's available to one and all, old and young. And the game we call it ET Toy. Now, games like this were traditional games used to develop skills, preparation for hand to hand combat and, and warfare. So, uh, the game was taught in childhood, rather than to adolescence, with a more formal training game. Uh, the game, uh, this particular game, the skills that are taught are eye hand coordination and awareness of movement simply by taking a stick and throwing it at someone else. If you've got someone else in this game, the objective is rather simple catch the stick before you get hit in the face. So that's the game, that's the fun, unless you get hit in the face. So let's see how we do. TT Boyer! Now for the real test of 
sticks. <laughs> you can sell them at the grocery shop. <laughs> you might even catch them, right? Okay. Now, we began our program with protocol, underlying the welcome to all of this unity, the shared community that, that can take place. Or two groups of people come together as one. The building is a symbol of tribal and head tribal unity. We all descend from the same common ancestor, by blood ties. And that means we're one. one. Now, the expression of the warrior within that realm is the expression we call Haka. Uh, an expression of unity and strength. Haka was well used in times of war and preparation to defend and protect. Haka was also an important part in times of peace to acknowledge people, to uh, celebrate, to uh, share um, the importance of relationships, and building and strengthening these relationships. So ladies and gentlemen, we acknowledge and honor you today with the voice of the warrior. We call it Haka.